Well, hi there, everybody, and good morning to you, to uh, meteorologist Travis Klineski, her special guest, Bright Hello, and early everyone. this morning. She's usually not in for a couple of more hours yet. This is Salika Powell. She's one of our reporters here at KSNB Television. And, uh, so, yeah, you're here uh, early today, right? Oh, yes, yeah, a very early morning for me, Travis. <laughs> a long night yesterday and an early yeah. morning today. <laughs> yeah, what are you, so what are you in early for today? So I'm going to be working on a Derek Payton trial. He's at a Carney Carney Police mm -hmm. Department. Yeah, he's an officer and, you know, working on that officer-involved shooting that he was involved in. So we're going to be following this case. So I'll be yeah. in Carney at the courthouse all day. Yeah, so busy week for you. You were out there yesterday. And, you know, how many days is going to go I know for sure or? we're going to be there tomorrow as well. But we'd have to see how, yeah. you know, everything how goes. And the witnesses as they get on the stand and how yeah. long, you know, it takes. All right. Well, yeah. So a uh, great reporter here. She's been here for several months now. And we're so happy to have her here and so i thought hey bring her on to my yes. little weather cast here Hi, real quick everyone. so so there you go so thanks, <laughs> thanks for joining for yeah Travis. so it makes a nice little uh, extra little bright smile in the morning <laughs> here sometimes i'm not always good for that so <laughs> let's move on here to weather and again uh it's been you know it's nice to have some sunny smiles around here because we haven't had a lot of sunshine in the weather lately and we're not going to see a whole lot these next couple of days maybe a little more tomorrow but we're finally going to bring, bring some in here towards the end of the week here so let's take you through first up before we get to your weather here a couple more spots our classes today. I know these get kind of old to see every single day. We're getting close to the end of them now here. Uh, the Hastings National Weather Service will be up in Greeley County up at the Wallback Fire Station at 630. And then uh, the uh, North Platte Weather Service, National Weather Service, has their cl uh, class going on in Eustis at the Legion Hall there for the Frontier County class starting at 7 o'clock. You know, we're getting very close to the end of these. Not too many left. Not much for rain right now. In fact, uh, Futurecast is actually overdoing what we have out there. But a lot of cloud cover. There has been a little clearing to the north that's where the best chance of sunshine will be today. In fact, better chances of rain will move in from the south later on today. This was the rain that was looking like a good rain that was going to come in a few days ago. And then everything shifted south with some forecast models over the weekend. So now it's, uh, again, the better chances down in Oklahoma and Kansas. And again, this sneaks far, far enough north that we'll see some rain in northern Kansas and maybe southeast Nebraska. Could get as far north as maybe the Interstate 80 corridor. But again, so once you get north of there, that chance of rain really drops off. So certainly better chances the farther south and southeast that you live. We'll keep those going. In fact, probably peaking in the Tri-Cities, our peak chance comes during the early evening hours. That said, notice how this model keeps it all to the south. This will clear out of here later in the night for most of us by midnight. And then uh, we'll be waking up to partly cloudy skies tomorrow. As we head into tomorrow, another clipper system brings in one more chance of some rain and even isolated thunderstorms. Maybe just enough instability to see some rumbles of thunder out there by tomorrow afternoon in central and especially eastern Nebraska. Eastern third of the state has the best chance of a little bit of that rain. Central Nebraska, a slight chance. Farther west, not really much of a chance. We'll probably see a little more sunshine out towards the west. This will all kind of wind down as we get towards later night, Wednesday night. I think by midnight, most of us done. And this is going to take us into some much drier conditions heading towards the end of the week. Highs for today, we will be looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 50s up north, a better chance of a little sun sneaking in, north winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour. Out west, lower 50s, maybe mid 50s around the Lexington area, mostly cloudy, a small chance of rain mostly towards the McCook, Beaver City area. Again, a slight chance of rain to in southern Nebraska, a better chance in northern Kansas, low to mid 50s. Would not be surprised if parts of northern Kansas stay in the upper 40s. That's what I'm going with for Belleville, Kansas. Otherwise, the warmer as you get northward towards the Columbus area with a lower chance of rain and not quite as much wind towards the east, uh, a little breezier farther west. As for the next several days, again, that slight chance of rain, maybe an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow, not expecting strong, severe thunderstorm activity. That's going to be saved for the southeastern United States where they are looking at a possible outbreak tomorrow. Uh, then we dry things out for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Nice little warming trend, although winds do pick back up for Friday and Saturday. But, hey, it's nice to have the warmer temperatures back. Sunday could actually turn out to be a pretty good day on your Palm Sunday. There's a slight chance of an afternoon shower out there. Chance is slightly better towards Monday, although the timing is still a big question mark there. But it does look like we'll cool down. But how much we cool down is still kind of a big question. Depends on the timing of those rain chances getting into early next week. But, again, kind of breaking out of these doldrums of cloudy conditions, we're finally going to bring some sunshine in by Thursday and keep it around for at least the first half of the weekend. So there you go. There's your extended weather cast for today, including a little appearance by Shalika as well. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great day.